right, what's going on? It's your boy D. Scotty again. And as you can tell by the title of the video, we're talking about how much does it cost to modify an S4? More specifically, how much did I spend to modify this car, my 2016 S4? And what I added up the price, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I, I was a little hurt. <laughs> it was, it it's expensive, but you know, you gotta pay to play and it's all part of the game so it's all good <laughs> but you know these upgrades I did over time I was gonna try to film this outside but it was too windy and it was just messing with the audio too much so I'm just gonna roll some clips and I'm gonna talk about the parts how much they cost and also if you're interested in the parts I will link them all down in the description so let's get into it oh and by the way some of these prices are gonna vary from what you see from the time I bought them, I might have gotten them on sale or they might be on sale now versus when I got them and they weren't. So let's get into it. First upgrade, APR's ECU Flash Stage 1. This cost me $900. Now I had this done at an authorized APR dealership. I'm pretty sure that's how you have to do it, I think. I'm not 100% on that, but I'm like 95%. The next upgrade is APR's TCU Flash. That cost me $600. Again, at an authorized dealership. Um, by the way, these prices aren't including any labor or anything like that. These are just the price of the part. The next upgrade is the IE intake, or Integrated Engineering Intake. That ran me $350. Next we have the most expensive mod on my car is the exhaust system. We have AWE's touring exhaust with the diamond black tips. That ran me $1,750. And yeah, that, that was a hard trigger to pull when I was <laughs> getting ready to buy it, um, but totally, totally worth it. Following that, we have ECS aluminum dipstick. Now these cars do not come with a dipstick, do not know why Audi did that. I'm sure they have some reason. A reason that I don't understand. But that ran me about 60 bucks. I like being able to see the oil. I don't necessarily trust the system, but it is what it is. Up next we have the RS style honeycomb grill. Sorry if I keep looking away, I got a list here. That ran me $120. Now I got this on eBay be careful because I had to send the one I got back it didn't fit it was for the B9 even though it said it would fit the B8.5 didn't fit so just be weary with uh, with eBay following that we have ECS the carbon fiber grill accents those ran me about $430 And along with that, we have the ECS carbon fiber front lip. That ran me about $650. Then we've got ECS carbon fiber trunk lip or the ducktail. That ran me about $450. Again, the carbon fiber parts are going to run you a little more than... They came out with a um, like a gloss black edition. I, th I think it's gloss black. It's a lot cheaper, but once I kind of started carbon fiber, I wanted to finish carbon fiber. I didn't want to, you know, have a mixture of the two. Then we have Carbon Imports Carbon Fiber Rear Diffuser. That ran me $650. Just did an install video on that. I'll post that in the description as well so you can check that out if you're interested. Then on the driver passenger side, front and back and the rear window, we have 15% window tint. Nothing on the windshield. Eventually I wanna do like a unibrow or something, but as of now, 15% on those windows. That ran me $250. Moving on from there, we have the black badges. That's the supercharged emblem and the S4. Together, that ran me about 
Following that, I have a quick release oil drain plug. That ran me around $45. And then with all of the interior lights, as well as the floodlights on the doors, we have upgraded LEDs. I got those for 50 bucks for the whole kit. Pretty sure they're on sale right now, so if you're interested, I would snag them before they're no longer on sale, because I think they're like 50% off. Those just give a really nice look to the interior. Then we have the red aluminum steering wheel ring. Just adds a nice little touch, you know, matching with the red theme. That ran me $9. Along with the red aluminum paddle shifter extenders, those ran me $35. And then we've also got the red aluminum ring around the push to start. Again, that was $9. And then the S logo on the volume adjustment knob, that ran me $9. And then last but not least, we've got a single 12 inch sub in the trunk with a 550 watt amp. That ran me about 650. Love my music, adds a lot of bass and just sounds really, really nice. Totally worth the upgrade. So with adding up all those costs, if my math is correct, which it probably isn't, <laughs> that in total, it ran me $7,005. And that, that did hurt a little bit when I found out that total. But I didn't make all those purchases at once. Obviously, this was over time. Um, to me, that was just the financially smarter decision to do. Now, this car is nowhere near close to being finished. I can think of easily another $3,000 worth of upgrades that I have planned for the future. But that's just my total costs as of now that I've done to this car. And all of the upgrades I've done, I've been very satisfied with them. I haven't, you know, second guessed any of them or modded the car and then took it off. Everything that I've done has stayed on and I've been 100% happy with it. So guys and girls, I really, really appreciate you checking out this video. Again, if you're interested in any of these parts, it's in the description. Again, the price may vary but I really appreciate you guys checking out the video. Like always, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. D. Scotty, out.